Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what I found in the flea market. And the thing is, the flea market, the cards are not so good that you couldn't find them in the flea market. And I'm gonna go over exactly where I found them. And it's the Spanish flea market I go to with Austin, our staff, or Cali. Everyone goes to the flea market because it has really good Mexican food. Like authentic. I found a deck. So in Code Snap, the unlike every other precon deck, in Code Snap, the precon decks came with snow covered lands. And each of these, because they're islands, probably worth more than a dollar. And there were two mountains, which are actually, no, I think they're worth more. And a, a bunch of snow covers. If you didn't notice, snow cover lands are actually worth a few dollars, so pull them out if you have them. Especially, especially if you had precons of Code Snap. There was one precon deck which the snow wording was very important, therefore all the cards were snow covered. So you're looking at 24 snow covers at a dollar a piece, and the deck was only $10 back in the day. Come on now, that's a good deal. I found more of these, you know I love these. Like these Mirage ones are really easy to find and pick up, they're like a dollar or two. Here's some more snow covers. Snow covers, go for the snow covers. I do feel like that if you go to a flea market or a game store and you look at the Code Snap or the Ice Age, you're gonna find plenty of those and because of EDH, people like it. Now getting into this. This is a dollar or two. And at the flea market when you hit, so this was a, what was it, $5? When you hit, you really hit hard, but when you miss, you just have lots of bulk. And it's quite sad. And it's taking up a lot of space. So I may not need to find a way to donate it. So if you're like a high school teacher in Humble or Houston, and you wanna make the drive out to like a public CVS, so I don't get killed, uh, I will donate you some magic cards. Because what has been happening, which is unfortunate, is I moved all my stuff from storage, including my video games, magic cards and stuff. I live in a rather large house. Uh, it is 4,000 plus, I think it's 4,100 plus square feet. Uh, and it is near a golf course, so it's a nice area. It's a very safe area. And the police are always there. We have police officers trolling all the time because I play Pokemon Go and they now know who I am. And they, <laughs> I, I'm, Okay, so obviously I don't do Magic the Gathering as a full-time job, right? I do something else, and I'm very good at that something else. I would say even good enough, and I was on ink, so that was good. And uh, these were quite valuable too. I think these are worth a few dollars. Anything Arabian Nights is good, anything Antiquities is good, anything Beta Alpha obviously very good. Even Unlimited is good, even if it's not a good card. Even the lands are good. Uh, and that is the key. The key is to know what you're looking for. And you're looking for, in this case, I was looking for, well, the Veteran Explorer kind of came out of nowhere. But for the snow covers, I knew that's why I wanted it. And I knew that Miraz, because those lands that I keep finding, they're a dollar or two. But to, the, to a person who played Magic back in the day, they were five cents. And many stores are not gonna update their inventory that fast. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.